parts have arrived, so let's see if we can get them installed. Okay, like I said, we've got some new parts in. We've got the new ignition switch as well as some uh, the sound deadening arrived for the interior of the car. So I think we're going to uh, start off by installing the ignition switch. I have a hard time saying that. Ignition switch. And then we'll see if it passes those tests that we did in the previous episode. Fingers crossed that it does, but I'm pretty confident that's what the problem was. And then if we've got time, we'll start uh, installing the sound deadening. Okay, here I have the old ignition switch uh, installed in the ignition housing. Uh, so to remove this, there's just one little screw there. It's a little Phillips screw. It's going to remove that here. The screw's removed. Now this should just pull out. Uh, and it does. I have the replacement switch in the lock here. Uh, you just have to make sure that it is, you can see there's a little notch in there. It just has to be lined up with the notch in here. All right, so we'll just slide in here. Sometimes you may have to wiggle the key just a little bit. You can see that's uh, fully seated now. Place the screw. There's a little washer on there as well. Okay, that's installed. Now let's uh, do some of these quick tests here. So I'm going to run uh, power to terminal 30, which is. Okay, so we've got power to terminal 30 with the ignition off. I think we will have power at these two terminals. You can see there, there. No power to terminal X or 15. Turn the ignition key on. We now have power at 15 and X, or X and 15, sorry. But no power to Terminal 50 until I turn the key and that sends power to the starter. Success! Okay, so uh, let's just install this back in the car and then we'll uh, move on to something else. Okay, so I'm back inside the car. I'm just, I have, uh, just reinstalled the uh, steering wheel temporarily just to keep everything together so it makes it easier so I don't lose anything. Just loosely installed. I'm just going to quickly pull it off here. Okay, and then I also have to. There's this plastic machine here. Let me just grab a screwdriver and then I will uh, pop that off. Okay, so that's that off. Now, really the only thing that is uh, holding this on is uh, this Allen bolt right here. I'm just gonna remove that and then we'll slide this back into place here. Now this uh, turn signal and windshield washer assembly goes back on. It has three little screws that screw into that. Uh, so I'll just make sure that I line those 
ですかSure, it goes on straight and it's not you're not driving down the road straight like this. But the car hasn't moved, the wheels were straight when I put it on, so I'm uh, pretty confident I can just put this on in a straight ahead position and we should be okay. The other thing is, this is steering wheel is quite easy to take on and off, so if I need to adjust it a little bit, uh, uh, it's not a big deal. So. All right. And just don't forget to put your washer on and the nut. Final step would just be to uh, torque this down to the uh, proper torques, but uh, we're not going to do that right now. Like I said, I may need to adjust it just a little bit, so we're going to wait for that. But other than that, I'd say this job is uh, complete. Okay, so we've got a new box. It is from Killmat. Killmat is what I decided to go with for my uh, sound deadening inside. So let's open up the box and see uh, what it looks like. What I ordered was uh, the 80 mil and 36 square feet. So I think we did kind of a rough, a rough measurement if we kind of uh, sound deadened everything on the interior and we came up with 40 square feet, but I think uh, that was a little overkill. So I think 36 square feet is gonna work great. Uh, but let's open up the box and see uh, what it looks like. Got some instructions. And then we've got the pieces of sound deadening. It's a little bit thinner than what I was expecting, but uh, I guess this is the first time I've worked with sound deadening material like this, so I'm not really sure. I'm glad I went with the 80 mil and not the it's also available in 50 mil, but uh, we went with this. So you can see it's got the foil uh, top side, and then it has the peel away uh, back side to just stick down. So I think we're going to uh, move on to, into the interior and uh, kind of plan how we're going to lay it out. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we've got to clean uh, the interior really well, uh, and then we're going to start laying out where we think those mats should go possibly cut some to fit, and then we'll uh, start laying them down. Okay, so we've got it all cleaned out. Now uh, we're just gonna start laying down some of these sheets to see uh, how much coverage we're gonna get and uh, where they need to be trimmed to fit. So, here we go.
got uh, pretty much the interior done here. Uh, we're pretty happy with that. And uh, Mackenzie's been helping out. We're getting closer and closer. So we're just going to uh, move on into the uh, trunk area now. Do a little bit there and then uh, we will uh, see how much we've got left over. Possibly do uh, a little bit more inside of the doors and things like that. Okay, so you can see we have got kind of inside some of the uh, door panels and the rear of the car there done. Uh, we've got the same thing done on the other side and then we also managed to uh, get basically the uh, spare tire compartment done. But uh, that's about all we've got for materials so um, yeah uh, that's basically the sound deadening complete so now it's just a matter of putting the uh, uh, carpets back in. Uh, I may do that just now just to kind of see how it looks and then we'll be moving on to something else. Alright, so that's where I'm going to end this video. We got the ignition switch uh, installed and hopefully that solves some of the issues we're having with the electrical problems as well as we got the uh, sound deadening down onto the floors and in some of the uh, side panels as well as the trunk compartment, the spare tire compartment there. And then I uh, just kind of trial fit the carpet and this rear seat just to see how everything's fitting and kind of make some notes on what still needs to be done as far as that goes. So. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Analog Generation.